Tesla's biggest products this year and next won't be cars. The bold promises of the electric car industry's best-known billionaire face big challenges from tech to regulation. Tesla and other auto tech companies have missed their self-driving software goals for years. In today's video, we will talk about Elon Musk's next big plan which can make him a trillionaire. But before that, make sure you press that red subscribe button along with that tiny bell icon to get updated every time we post new videos. Let's get started. Tesla has accomplished a lot since Musk founded the electric car company in 2003, building a $1 trillion valuation, selling more than half a million cars, and installing a global network of more than 2,000 charging stations for them. But there have also been many failures and delays. Some Tesla drivers are buying $12,000 self-driving packages in the hopes that the full range is near, and 60,000 Tesla drivers are trying out the latest self-driving software, a scale that other self-driving vehicle software providers can only dream of. Tesla's stock price topped $880 in January, making Elon Musk the world's richest person. With a net worth of $195 billion, he now outranks Jeff Bezos by around $10 billion. But according to VC billionaire Chamath Palihapitiya, Musk will get much richer. In fact, he could very well be the world's first trillionaire if Tesla shares reach three times their current price. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said his company is working on a humanoid robot and will build a prototype sometime next year. The humanoid robot will leverage Tesla's experience and automated machinery in its factories, as well as some hardware and software that powers the company's autopilot driver assistance software. Musk, who has spoken repeatedly about his fears of rampant artificial intelligence, said the Tesla bot is meant to be friendly, but the company designs the machine on a mechanical level so that it pushes operate from it, and most likely he will master it. He'll be 5 foot 8 in height, weigh 125 pounds, and have a screen for one face. The bot's code name within the company is Optimus, he said. Musk said the Semi and Roadster were first revealed in 2017 and the Cybertruck, shown in 2019, will be further delayed and hopefully go into production next year. Musk revealed drawings of the robot near the end of his company's AI Day event, where he showed off some of the supercomputer and artificial intelligence technologies he's working on, with the goal of one day powering self-driving cars. The company also had a mannequin version on stage, which was not working. Tesla isn't the only automaker interested in humanoid robotics. Honda developed a series of robots known as Asimo for almost 20 years before launching them in 2018, and Hyundai acquired Boston Dynamics in 2020. The basis of the economy is work, Musk said. So what if you don't actually have a labor shortage? I don't even know what savings means right now. That's what Optimus is. The bots will be designed to handle unsafe, repetitive, and boring tasks the company's website says, but nothing else, at least initially. I think basically going forward, physical labor will be an option. If you want to do it, you can do it, Musk said. The first use of the Tesla bot is likely to be in the company's own facilities, giving the example of moving parts around a factory. Tesla's history is littered with fanciful ideas that never came to fruition, like a network of solar-powered superchargers, battery swapping, or snake-like robotic chargers so anyone can guess if a Tesla bot in working order operation will one day see the light of day. But the company is where it is today thanks to Musk's push. However, when asked about the short-term economics of entering the robotics industry, Musk said, we'll have to see. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.